Hey everybody, welcome back to Kicking in the Second Half, Kish YZ. I have for you another shoes episode. This sneakers were purchased from the sneakers app, the Nike sneakers app. These are the Kyrie Sevens, the Kai D's. And just one quick question. Tell me, somebody tell me why Nike decide to ship this in such a big box. I didn't order anything else. There's just one pair of sneakers in here. And they're not high tops. Like, let's just see. I went ahead and cut the tape, so we're opening this box for the first time. And yeah, what a lot of hollow, empty space in there. That's very unnecessary. Too big of a box. But these are my first and probably my only pair of Kyrie 7s that I will have. So it's been a while since I had it. Uh, no, actually, I can't say it's been a while. I got a pair of Kyrie's last year. It's the Kybrids. I did a video on that as well, just kind of stuck it in a video. But here it is, Kyrie 7. There's the box. Nike check. There is Kyrie 7 there on the tag. And Stadium Green Black Dash Vault is the colorway. Shoes retail for $130, which is what I purchased them for, $130 in the U.S., and that did not show up so let's go ahead and get into opening the shoes up these are called the weathermen because of the well they're called the kai d sevens one sorry kyrie seven the kai d standing for kyrie slash durant for kd so the kd it's kai d because they're both teammates of brooklyn this season or last season and yeah, that's that's basically the backstory of that. They each had a shoe. Uh, Kevin Durant's shoe is on number fourteen now for his signature line through Nike, and he did a uh, crossover as well. The Kai, the I think they're called Kaidis. I'm not completely sure what his was called, but I thought the Kyrie versions were very interesting. I think when he wore these, it might have been against Boston, or I think it was Boston he was playing and he was wearing these. I was like, wow, those colorways are dope. When did they come out? And I got on the sneakers app and. Uh, I think they had some Jordans and some other sneakers that dropped that day. So I went ahead and aimed for this because that was the sneakers I was wanting in particular. And obviously you click the button and put in your information and I'm waiting in line. And then I got the confirmation email that popped up with the message that said that I purchased the sneakers. So I was like, wow, I was really hyped up. So I don't know how hard it was to get it after that. I couldn't tell, you know, since it said purchase, if there was any more availability ability after you know the first 10 15 minutes or if they just kind of hung out for a while so i'm not sure if this is in all of the Kyrie 7 boxes but it's got a lot going on there with different graphics and it's got a little alien in there on the box is that because of his some of his theories maybe about things in general <laughs> i don't want to get into all of that but um what i want to do get into is the sneaker here and like I said, these are the Weathermans, which is uh, after Kevin Durant's signature line. I think in the KD4s is when he first did that colorway because he's a big fan of just like, you know, Weatherman type of stuff. So um, I guess he likes meteorologists. So uh, they did it in the, in the KD4s. And then I think they did it again in the KD6s or 7s, KD7s, I think. And I actually wanted them in the KD7s, and I couldn't get a hold of those. Uh, back then, I wasn't really collecting shoes a whole lot, but I still liked sneakers, and I thought they were cool. And this reminded me a lot of that one, but obviously that pattern was on the 4s and the 7s for KD. And I'm not sure if he's actually done any since. So, But here's what they look like on the Kyrie 7s. And like I said, you get a lot of that green, and you get a lot of... The hints of like that lime green yellow color which is called vault for nike with that black overlays here as accents and then there's that like pressure mapping system that you see when you're watching the weather which is a cool feature of the pattern for this shoe let's see push that cushioning back down and see what it says inside the forecast calls for a thunderstorm wow that's crazy that was probably what was inside of the KD uh, fours and probably the sevens because back then he was playing for the OKC Thunder. Shout out to the Thunder. I'm a big fan of that team. That's my favorite NBA team. And I know I'm wearing like the Brooklyn stuff, but that's because I'm Kevin, uh, covering Kyrie Irving and 
mentioning Kevin Durant now, which is the team they play for. Uh, by the way, you know, check out our uh, our page, like we do podcasts about NBA stuff. So uh, I do have a lot of NBA gear. But yeah, just going back to the shoe. So here's what I just read off on the inside of the shoe there. There's the Kyrie logo that we see on all of his shoes, particularly on the tongue. Uh, there's that like all seeing eye logo right here that sometimes on some of the other shoes you see on the back and it is on the back and it has the number seven here which is crazy because that's the number that Kevin Durant also wears but I think the seven on this shoe is kind of like a play on both the Kyrie sevens here and also as a, a nod to Kevin Durant wearing number seven himself since this is the KyD collaboration of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and then there's that all seeing eye so it's like a subliminal messaging which you know, I think that's how Kyrie's personality is. It's very subliminal. But what's dope is this bottom, that pressure mapping system that you see on the bottom. Like, once again, like you see on the maps. That is really, really dope. What is this? Tell me what that is. 47 and a half. Is that, is that supposed to be the size in Europe? Wow, that's crazy. I wonder why they put that on the bottom. 47 and a half. That's the European uh, conversion system for my size in 13 men's US. But anyway, there's a big Kyrie Irving logo there. And let me get off the other sneaker. There shouldn't be any difference, in my opinion. You see the, the that eye logo is also here. It's like subliminal how you find it. Let's see what's on the back. His legacy is going to live on forever. Is that something that's on all of the Kyrie Irving 7 sneakers? Leave in the comments if you have any other pairs of this. Or if it's just something he's given another nod to Kevin Durant. I, I can't tell. I don't know. I don't know. And this, the inside of this one has a thunder or lightning bolt, a cloud, and the sun, I guess, to represent the various icons that you might see when a meteorologist is giving the weather for the day. So yeah, that is cool as well. That's dope. I, I like the little hints, the subtle hints on the sneakers, but uh, overall, I just love the color. Green is my favorite color, so I love green in general, but just the combination of these colors and the pattern that comes with it and that it's such... Um, it almost makes it like a, uh, a uniform look, how they hit it on the back, underneath, on the sides with the upper. It just flows for me, and I really like this. And I know with the camera here and the lighting, they look bright, but the green is a little bit deeper color. It's not a hunter green, though. It's kind of like a, it's a straight-up Celtic green. So no wonder he wore it against the Celtics. Like I said, he's a very subliminal person, so he probably wore it thinking that uh, I'm going to play here against the Celtics, and it's going to be a storm tonight. We're going to rain on your parade. You can make all kinds of stories up, to be honest, as to why he did that when he did it. But in general, these are definitely cool. So once again, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are subscribed, you know, feel free to share the video to others. And make sure you turn the notification bell on to catch some more of our drops. Once again, this is a... A regular purchase pair of $130, nothing more, nothing less, no coupons used here. So these are not one of the shoes that I'm doing for some other videos I'm currently working on for shoes under $100 for people who are looking to add to their wardrobe on the cheap or for, you know, parents that are looking to budget uh, friendly sneakers for back to school. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave a little, little thing at the end of this video as well as maybe throw up a tag or something in the corner so yeah once again everybody thank you again for kicking in the second half kish yz everybody peace and love